Dear colleagues, this is phaco emulsification of a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. This is the main incision, it is a 2.8 millimeter incision and this is a posterior limbal incision as you can see there is oozing of blood from the incision site. Now this is a side port on the right side of the main incision and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision. Now capsular axis is done. The capsule is incised with a 26 gauge bent needle. Now a uh, uterata forceps is used to hold this capsular tag and then after holding the tag I move anticlockwise. Yes, I move anticlockwise and perform a CCC that is continuous curvilinear capsular axis. As I do axis, I rest on the anterior leaf of the main incision. I apply a upward thrust on the anterior leaf and never depress the posterior leaf. Thus, I prevent leakage of viscoelastic substance. Now, this is hydro dissection. Fluid wave is passed underneath the anterior capsular rim. The nucleus is tapped. Hydro dissection is being done at multiple points. And now the nucleus is rotated. Viscoelastic substance that is hydroxypropylmethylcellulose 2% is again injected and now is the time to introduce into the eye with the introduce the tip of the FECO handpiece into the anterior chamber. And here goes the tip. This is Oatly Cataracts 3 FECO machine. And now see how I am doing direct job. I go deep into the substance of the nucleus and I travel through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator. And as I reach the softer portion of the nucleus, I use the chopper and emulsify it. This is a very small chopper, only the prong at the anterior end is only 0.6 millimeter. This is how I hold and chop. Chopping with this machine is a joy because holding is very firm. No financial interest but I love this machine very much. Oatly Catarex 3 FECO machine. Now each fragment is being emulsified applying ultrasonic energy and it is being removed. Ultrasonic power being used in this case is 70 percent, flow rate is 45 ml per minute, vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. And now we are towards the end of the nucleus management. This is the last few bits of the nucleus. I remove the chopper to make the anterior chamber more stable. As I remove the chopper, leakage from the side port stops and the anterior chamber becomes more stable. That's it. And now, little bit of viscoelastic substance is injected again and cortical cleanup is being done using this very simple but very efficient instrument, a 23 gauge Simcoe cannula and it works very fast in my hand. If you are habituated to bimanual IA, please continue with your favorite instruments. And now, After injecting viscoelastic substance, I am injecting 
a honeydew lens first time and there was some air bubble in front of the lens and that has gone into the eye but I am I'm sure I'll be able to place the lens in the bag so I didn't come out and I cannot come out when some portion of the lens has gone already into the entry chamber I cannot come out I have to inject the lens in the bag and I placed the chopper through the side port to support the optic so that it doesn't come up and hit the corneal endothelium and now I have used the Sinsky hook to place the lens in the capsule bag and now what I am going to do is I am going to remove some cortical lens matter sorry cortical uh, viscoelastic substance remove viscoelastic substance with Simcoe cannula it is very important to remove the viscoelastic substance whatever you have used whatever either viscoat or sodium hyaluronate or whatever it is you must remove it thoroughly so that there is no rise of intraocular pressure in the postoperative period if there is rise of postoperative intraocular pressure rise of intraocular pressure in the postoperative period the patient will have stemi corneal edema patient will have pain and patient will have lot of discomfort i usually do paracentesis in such cases if the intraocular pressure is more than 30 mm of mercury i ask the patient to take a tablet of acetazolamide and i put brimonidine and timolol malleate and thus I control the post of rise of intraocular pressure. But this is how I form the anti and conclude the case. Thank you very much for watching.